Dresden and Royal Crimson and Golden Tassels. Hmm. To make a valiant captain. I'll trust him in his courage, his victories, and his armor. A scholar, books and scholastic robes. The cleric his devotions, insults for the criminal, do honors for the noble, and for the masses the right and proper liberties. Be the worker who has to labor for a living. I'll give him simple tools. And for the one who has to play the lady, well, I'll adorn her in those sweet professions that are sweet poison to some men. Now, no one's had to play, but they didn't have the proper means to play the part. If they slip up, the fault will not be mine. So, come on, you mortals, come and get your costumes on so that you can act in the great theater of the world! Mortals! Even though you're not yet born, I'll call you mortals. For I can see you as clearly as if you were standing right in front of me. And though I know you cannot hear my voice, I call you now to enter, for it is time to cast the play! Oh, here we are! Here we are! Oh, we are obedient to your will! Oh, we are no souls or wife or feeling or reason! Oh, we don't know who we are! We are like dust at your feet! Please blow upon this dust and give us our rolls! We exist in your mind only. Do you like that? Different, different place. If you just 
my soup up so the film to impress I hope to work with things. I'm so in love. But if it's weird to give a bigger part to one who's being not better than my own. In this part, the person who plays the beggar well, with feeling, with soul, with drive, he's to be just as much as he plays the king. Both parts are needing roles. A few work well, and remember, when it's all over, you will be his people. But of course, being poor, you're going to be a king. But in my book, it's a much better role than his if you play it well. And at the end, everybody is going to get the exact salary that they deserve. You see, every role can be a winner here. Because all of human life is to play. And what matters is how well you act it. And when it's all over, those who play their parts well, without mistakes, will join me at a great banquet. And there, everybody will be equal. But, tell us, Lord, what's the title of this? Do good, for God is God. God is God? This play is so mysterious, and, and you know, I, I think we dare not make any mistakes. This is so vital. We have before. We do another thing. How can we rehearse unless we find a light, our soul, our being, which, which we lack because well, we have no action yet? Yeah, ha ha. How do we suppose to do a play without a real soul? I was a beggar, I feel the same way. In a sense, I guess it's a beggar and a worker are pretty much the same. But listen, even a well-known play goes fine. And when the actors don't have time to brush it up, if we don't rehearse, all we did is right. The time has come to let you know that heaven is the only judge, critic, and audience for the show, and you only get one chance, one, one chance to get it right. This business of being born and died. How are we going to know our entrances and I'm not going to tell you that. Just be ready to play your part at all times, and I will call you. Oh, 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 what if I go break? Forget my eyes? Well, I thought that might happen. And so I've engaged in talking. And my name is Vince Whether it's the player or the player. Okay? So, enough complaining out of you people. All right then, you have your free will to play. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for, everyone? Let's go. Start the show. Do good. For God, God is God. Well, now everything is ready to present this play that brings humanity to life.
expression. Your part requires very little, only fasting and continuous prayer. Discretion, here's your gown. Well, wouldn't be discreet to ask for more. Why don't you ask for anything to help you play your part? I don't need a place for the amount of living I'm going to do. Without being bored, I have to die. And only long enough in the world to go from one dark place to the other. And all you have to give me is grace. <coughs> What I told him before. Uh, at least he'll let me acquaint you with your part. Uh, I'm telling you it's probably not a good idea. Oh, so you, if you're gonna act like that, go right ahead. You're gonna fight for every scrap of bread, just like a brute. That's my tough one. Here. You'll need this. Take this blade. Adam's inheritance. Adam's inheritance. Mr. Father Adam, though you could have played it smarter, oh, you knew the score. Your woman didn't pass her test, but no, you had to eat that fruit that she handed you. Now that was not too swift, but just like a star crossed love, you just did exactly what she asked of you, so I can play my part. As bad as you are. I've seen you hand out happiness and pleasure, joy and fortune. I know it's not for me. Give me my grief, my friend, my brother. I know I'm not like the other. I don't want both of the robots, God, or silver either. Um, and, and which part is yours? My thought. Affliction, anguish, misery, sadness, want. The passion of men, compassion to never have anything to give. All the way, all the all the house, my hand to ask for everything. This gun and shirt and feeding, feeding shirt and naked days and fear, fear, this way, style of anguish and hardship. It is a fucking thing to tell me. <laughs> You're right. The one who plays the beggar's part gets nothing from the world. But yes, let me think. Take off all your clothes. <laughs> to play your part as written, your only costume is yourself. I have, I have to do this. It's my job. Perhaps later on you can beg yourself some rags. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two sets of rags. <laughs> don't be sad and don't be sad. Oh, well, give more to those who already are plenty and take the blessing of the world to those who haven't got the stitch. Well, now our theater is well provided for with the various states of humankind. Here you saw a king with his far-flung empires. Beauty that causes the senses to lose the reason. Power that commands applause. Needy beggars, hungry workers, the devout. The whole cast is assembled. And in order for them to play their proper parts today, I have given them a stage, costumes, props, and furnished them as appropriate with pleasure or with pain. Now, divine author, come out and see your show. Your cast mankind is ready to put on. Open up the center of the earth so you can take your seat right in the middle of all the action. <laughs> this show is being staged to celebrate my honor. And so I'm going to sit here on this throne and watch my company perform. Look to your prayers, mankind. You enter the stage by way of a cradle and leave by way of a grave. Don't forget, your author is watching from here. 
best seats in the house. Sun and moon and stars. Flowers that make the soil a coat of many coloured hues. Praise him light and fire, frost and dew, winter, summer, spring and fall, and whatever is beneath this earthly veil. Praise him, one and all. Stop it. Nothing pleases me more than the sound of the people's songs singing. Who is to say the prologue today? But here, responding to your voice, appears the law of grace. The Law of Grace will introduce your festival today. But first, some business. In order to help those who lose their words, I have the text of our great play right here. But all you really need to know is found in these two simple verses. Love your neighbor as yourself. To good for God is God. Now that the prologue is done, the law of grace will stay on as prompter. She wanted more, but there's no parts left since I am going to play myself. But I'll be quiet now if the show is starting. Come. Come, help me take the measurement of this field that sings the happy song of men. And hear the sweet flattery of the sun. Because I saw my mother here. The sun, the land, the light, the blossom, each adds a splash of color to the You know I don't like to leave my people prison where all is point. Is everything austerity with you? Um, trigger. Uh, denial. Don't you have one day of pleasure? <laughs> Tell me, Lord, why grow the flower is not to put up fences when they send? Why like birds you think they are badly created like feather mandolin if you're not meant to win What is clothing for? If not to tell the touch with silky soft. Why does he say sweet a bad skin, brighter and brittle will? To be sure. Why did God make sky, mountain, valley? It's an adventure. It seems like sheer ingratitude that you enjoy the hustling wonder all of heaven. To enjoy them by admiring them is just, and offering thanks and praise is proper. But to enjoy these beauties to bad ends is wrong, or to admire these beauties without remembering the artist. I don't have to leave my house, I chose this life to bury myself away. That's why I'm called discretion. Well, for that matter, I am beauty, and my only job is to be seen. And, uh, to see as well. I find that to use my skill so great. How can I make the most of my great beauty? I don't think you really heard the thought. <laughs> Even the reaches of power, power, <laughs> and is it determined to spend them on constant delight? <laughs> Nothing pleases me unless I hunger for it, <laughs> and whatever I hunger for, I get it. <laughs> See how my clothes, lower clothes, that's Venus here. Come on, my friend. <laughs> and to conclude, gluttony, envy, idleness, and ambition. 
I'm the master of my soul today. Does anyone here work as hard as I do? No. I break the breast of the earth that gave me life because that's the only way I earn my keep. I'm the Prime Minister of Plow. Oh, but I don't see a penny for the profits they produce. My weapons are a sickle and a hoe. My battles with the livestock and with soil. In April and May, I have a lust for rain, but in the water lets me down on board. And if anything, the plant should have a lot to grow. Why, then the tax collector's got me in his sights. I'll tell you why. Since I'm planted, the people who depend on what I grow will have to pay the price I want to charge. And it doesn't. When I thank God for drought and famine, then my granary will make me rich. <laughs> I'll be the greediest man for miles. You're about to everyone will need me. I'll grow fat and powerful and and I I what should I do? <laughs> I happen to be a little deaf sometimes. Well, at least his behavior is consistent. Even if I seem to be resistant. A whole world is on earth. Whose misery is warm than mine? The grind is my feather bed. The sky is my only shelter. I have no place to hide from fraud and heat, hunger and thirst as well. Love. Give me passion. Now, what can I do to show? My dear. <laughs> How can I do my misfortune? You have fallen, Lord. Whoa! That sounds consoled me. That sounds bad me out. Uh, the king is coming. The king is coming to rule these gardens. We have a powerful ambition to be here to no one. No at all. I place myself in front of him to see if my great beauty can make him fall in love with me. I think I'll stay behind. I don't want him to notice me and be like, oh, yes, there goes a worker, and I have a brand new tax for you to pay. You see, I don't need any more of the Woo! I am the absolute Lord and Supreme. The Supreme Master! Of everything surrounded by the sea and lit by the sun. I, my kingdom, my imperial vassals, bow before me. They bow before me. So, what should I be doing in this world? I look out from deep within my middle. And what before my eye? What do I see? And happy you know, the happiness of all the the king. Well, no, and shows his majesty, not comprehending that I need him. The beauty pays attention to herself. She doesn't know there is pain and deprivation in the world. Oh, and there is discretion. Always occupied in pleasure. He serves God well, it's true. But always serves the comfort. And then the workers they come back home from where they bury the state, get tired, and then they find an older stable, not a pronounced, but enter. But the rich man has everything he wants, but it's over. I, I alone in the world need everything. And so I come to everyone to ask for help. Not because I, I want to. Because I need to. Because I can all live just fine without the fear. I can't live without the heart. I bet you do too. In the name of God, see, arms. Arms. All content. Yes, you found them in there. Come. Which dress looks better? 
still little story inside And very confusing. What are we going to do without him? Well? We've got that poor conversation. Please, look at you. Hmm. I'm inventing myself. How oh, okay. those who are left alive find consolation? Oh, even more so when the dead one leaves them lots of land. I see my poor and lovely beauty. And nothing else. And I don't envy the king and say your triumph. Because I think my great beauty guarantees for me a group even greater than mine. So this year I slay this young, this sort of mine. Die. It's all my fields are dying, but this 
this. This is my house. I want to leave something behind when I go. How will I be judged if I leave behind nothing? Nothing. I see now. Is not the time to think anymore. Over there are voices telling me about that. And there the great snout flowers. Well, the work is gone. Widows and flowers, dirt, exhaustion, even sweat. You need not to feel any quite distressed. What shame. Oh, let's get back to our conversation. <laughs> All right, fair enough. To do my share, I will tell you what I'm thinking. Well, who would the be a means? Who that life is it like a flower? Born with the stony first light and die with the dust. <laughs> Hurry! If life is a brain, we should enjoy every little life we have! <laughs> well, I say we worship our star, that God! Let's, let's eat! Let's drink today! Because tomorrow we shall die. Who's going next? There is a day I came to the world. There is a for the nine on which I was counting to the mountain of Spain. The death of your eyes of the sun which turned into the darkening for when I saw it going to feel that everything be shadow, that no eye can be shadow of the heart of question of the dark night, the night kill tunnel. Here is fighting on the land, and so they never get the gift of heaven. And everything because he talk and talk. That night, when the red lost more of the dawn, he decided to die. That is the dawn, the day or night that shows no moon and star. He saw that not upset his heart. I could despair to see myself like that, but then I figured I was born in sin. There are many blessings in this world, and many too are paid. Now it's time to take a good account of both. Both? What do I think that is it? Does it, this body that calls us make it tremble? Yes. But, but you want to flee. No. It's been natural to tremble when your soul frees God from being God. Besides, it would be vain to flee. The king is too difficult to do What chance does a nigger have? In any case, my death ends with my life. And so I woke up. The Solomon ends. Aren't you sorry? To leave the stage? No, I'm the one who really acted. And so I did it. Did you kiss me a hand? Come on, my man! I cannot leave without my leeches! What are the words? What the pain? What the blessing? What the affliction? What the good fault? What the misery? What the good eye? What the blessing? <laughs> I'm the only one left in this play. Well, faith is the thing that sticks to me the most. Although that's true, I'm sure that faith can never die. I can, because I'm not religion, I'm not faith itself, I'm just someone who chose that path. So, before the voices call for me, I'll call myself to the grave. 
and shut my life away. For it's put an end to our play for the moment, since I know I will go right to all again tomorrow. Let's hope that in tomorrow's comedy, we're going to go the errors that we made today. I offer punishment, all reward, to those who play their parts in worse or better fashion. And now, you will see exactly what I meant by that. Part. If I'm a rat, 
But you may be right. I'm the lady. The party. The one with blisters on his hands and tight red. The one with torture. All kinds of things for his down. Things like take you, or you see, or sometime. You sir. We can listen. Well, let's have her and thank you. Oh, what do you do? I gave you a blade. What a great beauty that was. What a treasure it turned out to be. Well, the good of her ill, what you thought. The great creature of the world. It would pay the hardest part of you. And no matter how you cover it. Who is coming now? Who is this is the I never want to leave you! I want to move on my lofty food! Why are you two taking such divergent points of view? Where? Who are you? Where 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 are
Since this world is such a tyrant, the biggest house is complete with it as soon as we arrive. Let's go to the regular party that I will also afford. Well, we will receive our own just reward. Hey! Hold on. You! Think to go in front of me! I was a king, you were a beggar! You were begging for me! Moving to go! We all done with this fire! Now we all need for all grass in the top hill of the grave! What about me? What doesn't matter? But how can you forget that yesterday you were a hockey fan? For me! How can you forget that you didn't give me any? I am not letting go of all of you, and I'm better off than most. Don't forget that. He turns the water of where all the day now. Shroud is a great thing for us now. Indeed, sister. Ready to be thrown to hold your mouth! You're crazy! I'm missing your death. You're dead. You used to shine just as brightly as the sun, but now it's your nothing more. What? You're such a coward thinking that I would see the Otto right now! Otto? Otto is even in the world. The whole company of Arthur who plays his sister. Come in, oh, human being. I've come to celebrate this great love party. Open up! The girl play! Oh, yeah! Cattle beans! This table, right here, where I have proof that heaven adores. I need to have respect for me. But first, it's time to learn who the lies and dying with me. Those of you who have not paid your cards in such a way as to be saved, with knowledge and remembrance of the good that's always present, even in the face of suffering, we will need my company. But before we get to the punishments, let's have some rewards. Now in the trembling, trembling of the altar. 
time for me to get there too. Because there is no one else to hide from yourself, Catherine. Hold on! Even though I am your author, you'd be better off not leaving. You should dare say my name. You're not looking at me in my company. I expect you from him. Descend! Descend where your ambition will be met for all the eternity with the pain and suffering that you deserve. Oh, oh my god, these fireballs! I mean, my book for you to fear from them! Something for myself! And this arm was rock, I mean, when I have died! Down! Into this dark cave! I have been exploring. <laughs> 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 I have been when it comes to hope, you know all the channels. The flow of all Oh, there were any glory Well, that's it. You see the four ways of ending. You got my beautiful dagger. <laughs> the king, this rich man, and the child. Only one of them pertains to the one life and one death. And so to conclude, perjury is not the time. Murder, you can cry. Come and take your place in door. What's this question? What sauce? It's Barter. Oh, what a victory! What a pain! What a relief! What a sweetness! What a poison! All this story! All this pain and none of this woman. Here it is. Sweet voices ring out. In heaven, in hell, and here on earth. Sweet voices ring out in praise and in harmony. Yay! Yay!